Baroness Jenny here talking for Baron's Party Paints, which is my own little bit. Yay! <laughs> uh, who are we talking about today? We are talking about Ash the Fire Genasi Wizard. Uh, for this mini, we used a human wizard as our base. Um, mostly because, and this is going to sound like I'm being really hypercritical, but has anyone else found that it's really hard to find any decent Genasi figurines? Like, not if you want an Earth Genasi, but that's because they're obviously physically different. They're huge. And even then, you probably could edit a Goliath if you really couldn't find a Genasi to make it work. I've had a hell of a time. I'm, I'm sure they must exist, and maybe I'm looking in the wrong places. But I can't seem to find any decent ones for the other flavours of Genasi. Um, mostly what I'm doing is editing human and elf figurines to just paint in the right colours. But, I mean, come on, guys. They're... It really ought to not be that hard to just do a few Genasi figures, right? Maybe I'm just being a bit critical. I mean, you can make it work with an elf or a human figure. But the Genasi deserve better, damn it. So, what I've done with him. Uh, for his skin tone, uh, I was told that fire Genasi basically look more like sunburned humans than anything. I mean, personally, I would have liked to do him a little bit of a darker shade, but um, husband said no, no, just tan human. So that is a Bugman's Glow. That was his skin. Uh, then for his robes, what have we got? We've got Corn Red. I really hope I'm pronouncing it. It might be Cahorn. It's a K-H sound. Uh, that's for his robes. Uh, the, all the highlighty bits I've done in Retributor armour, just as gold shiny shiny. Uh, his... Actually, a few of his roby bits um in the underneath are Avalan Sunset, and I think the tabardy bit in the middle. Yeah, that's that's flash got that's some um, flash gits yellow in the very middle. Lots of um, red and yellow for him. He's a fire genasi. Uh, he's clearly wearing a sort of undershirt. Yeah, let's call it that. That is Cantor blue. That's that lovely darker shade of blue that's a li little bit more like a denim shade. Um, and I've actually highlighted a couple of bottles on his various belts in that colour as well. Uh, in my head, they're mana potions. I appreciate they don't actually exist, but hey, why not? Um, what have I done? Ooh, ooh, his magic book. That is Jean Steeler Purple. Again, I just want it in a different colour just to highlight it a bit. I mean, it would have faded into him completely if it was any other colours. Um, and this is while still keeping to those sort of reddy, yellowy tones. I didn't want it to stick out too badly, so greens and blues, not a good idea. Apart from, obviously, little highlights for his um, under robe and his little bottles. So I'm looking now, I don't know how I managed to do this, because I would have had to have had a magnifying glass or something. Uh, there's a lot of Mornfang brown for belts, uh, boots, any little bits like that on him. Um, oh, his magic. His magic I did with a coat of Night Haunt Gloom, which is actually a technical paint, but you can just about get away with it as a wash. Um, again, as a fire genasi, you'd have thought um, red magic, wouldn't you? But no, nope, let's go with blue. I think he's fighting against the curve a little bit. Ah, now, his hair. His hair. Fire genasi's hair is supposed to look like it's on fire. That's quite tricky to achieve. I think this is why I want more fire genasi minis, because at least then the hair would be the right shape to look like it's licking at his head as fire. I know it isn't actually fire, it just looks that way. So, adapting a little bit, what I ended up doing was giving him a coat of blood for the blood god as his base hair colour, just because that's a little bit shinier than the corn red, so it looks a little bit more... It looks more like hair to me. And then I did a wash of Retributor armour over the top of it. Um, again, I'm, it's sort of something I'm trying to get right with fire, and I've managed to make it work on a couple of them. It doesn't work every single time, but most of the time it comes out looking just like fire. I'm not 100% sure it's worked on this guy, but it's close enough and it works for what we need him for. And his eyes, yeah, they're flash gits yellow as well. I am really going to have to practice doing eyes because I always look back and at the time they look so good and then when I look back they look so splodged on. Oh, actually one last thing I do need to talk about. You'll see on his back he's got a load of scrolls strapped to himself and actually the pages of the book, they're highlighted as well. 
uh, what I did there was actually paint them in the layer, uh, what's it called? White Scar White. It's called White Scar. Why would it be called White Scar White? That's redundant. Um, it's called White Scar. Um, did did all the paper in that and then coated it with Rakeland Flesh Shade. And that just makes it look like aged paper, doesn't it? It's It was a little bit tricky because you need the tiniest little brush to get at those pages, but it does work and it really looks like aged paper. Uh, have I got any fun stories about what Ash has done? I mean, there was the time that my character, Zephyr the Dragonborn, um, spent the evening getting completely drunk and woke up it, five rooms into a dungeon. Five rooms into a dungeon with a load of people uh, who he was definitely getting drunk with last night and none of them had any memory of how they'd got down there and we'd had to fight our way back out because of course all the rooms we'd cleared the night before in our drunken stupor had refilled with horrible flavours of monster. So that was good. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think, was there anything else Asha's done? Oh, actually one of my favourite stories, we were um, called upon to attend this very fancy event and Ash was one of the people invited. Um, Ash was there, um, obviously he was going to be seeing lots of other wizards from the local magic college, so he had to be wearing his full dress uniform, as it were. So it turns out the country that um, this is taking place in, the higher up you are in wizarding school, the more robes you have to wear. So I was treated to the spectacle of my character stood in his fancies, waiting with everyone else, and Ash coming down the stairs, wrestling with basically the entire contents of a Dunelm wrapped around himself. It was like trying to watch someone put a double duvet into a duvet cover. <laughs> he, um, he was not happy. I will say that. Um, he's not um, up himself at all about how high-ranking as a wizard he is. It's just very funny to watch to watch him in my mind wrestling with all of his various dresses. <laughs> okay, um, I will talk to you later about some more minis and also the people who make minis. Make me some fire genasi or water genasi. Make me genasis other than earth genasis. Otherwise I'm just going to have to keep editing elves and it doesn't always work. Okay? Bye! <laughs>